Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, PJ King. Today is no other than the Switch Out Saturday. And y'all, I will confess, I started out by saying I was moving into a tote, had everything out, and the tote was the Dunienberg Florentine East West Chelsea in the color light tote that I purchased from QVC. And I showed that unboxing a while ago. And so had it all ready and then I wasn't feeling it, so I <laughs> went back into my my collection, and y'all, the bag that I moved into, it's just one I am so glad that I was able to get. It's still a Dooney and Burke. It's a drawstring bag, um, and it was just a wonderful carry. I have carried it before, so it was nothing new to me to use it, but I'm just happy I switched into this one. So without further rambling on, let me share with you what the baby was. <laughs> Here she is. This is the Dooney and Burke drawstring. And this was from the, I believe the Robertson collection. And of course it was when I was late to the game, but I hunted it down and I was able to get her. And so she's just amazing. This was one of those collections where if I could have gotten another piece, I would have done that as well. I believe they had a tote and I know they had a barrel bag. And of course, says so what, she has a piece in this collection as well. <laughs> so, and um, Dooney Attic 615, I believe has a piece in this collection, but it definitely is one of those ones. It's a statement piece. I would even say this is a collector's item. Whenever I carry it, I get complimented. It's just the amazing ducks that are like camouflaged all over the bag. It's just a beautiful bag. And so the only thing, well, two things I did do. Um, this is the front of the bag. You have your Dooney and Burke down there. There's your drawstring pull. I just added my son's bath and body hand sanitizer back. And... I don't know if I did the Bath and Body haul, if I posted it yet, but if I didn't, this is one of the pieces that he picked up as we're standing at the register. He wanted this, so I got that, and I just threw a pocket back in there, so it's a little sharp. So <laughs> I just put that on there, so he uses that. And the only other thing, if y'all remember me, Dooney Addict 615, um, I want to say... It was a few of the ladies in the handbag community, and we all went crazy hunting down these straps from Michael Kors. So I'm trying to incorporate these straps, even though a lot of times you don't see me saying that I am using the shoulder strap on the bag. But this one here, it's almost like it was made for this bag. <laughs> so it is from Michael Kors. It's one of those straps. I believe it was $10. They were marking down their straps. Um, like it was $100 straps that were marked down to like $10. Some were even $5. So this one here, the color Michael Kors is calling it orange. But to me, it paired well. It's almost like a... It's like a shade off of the Dooney and Burke trim down there, but it pairs so well with this bag that if you didn't know Dooney, you didn't know that it didn't go with the bag. So I just added that. I did carry it shoulder and crossbody sometime. And let me show you. So like how the strap has this hardware, the grommet hardware on both sides. You can see, sorry if I blinded you. So it's like the gold hardware there. And on the Dooney bag, you see the hardware here where the strap goes through for your drawstring. So even that was similar. And so it paired nicely with that. But y'all, it really, it, it looked really nice with the bag. So I was very pleased with the way it looked. And so even with me draping it that way, it just looked really nice with the bag. So I had that on there. And this strap does have some weight. It is a thick strap. And then I don't know if it's because the grommets have weight, but y'all, it did have some weight to it, but it did not discourage me from using it. So it was amazing. So that was the only added feature and it is detachable. So I can just take it off and hang it back up. I did do a strap video with some of the straps um, at the time. I don't know if I had all of them, but I know I did share them on YouTube before. 
So that was that. That was Michael Kors. Because I know some of you were thinking that bag didn't come with that. <laughs> oh, let me point this out. It also has that little adjustable feature, which you know some of us just cannot deal with on the Dooney bag because it's so hard to do. This one also has it. And so that's what I say. It paired really nicely with it as if it went with the bag. <laughs> so this strap here is the strap that comes with this bag. You can detach it. I mean, not detach it, um, adjust it. I have not. It's extremely hard if you do. So when I purchased it, whatever setting it was on is where it stayed. So it is in the middle one on both sides. This right here just goes over the end to keep your straps from flying away. And even that's hard to do. But absolutely love this bag. So again, Dooney and Burke drawstring. This is the back. This is the front. You cinch it in like so. That is the look that you get. There's your Dooney and Burke logo plate down there in the front. You get feet on the bottom, and it even has the, the ducks all on the bottom. I call them camouflage ducks. <laughs> so they're light green, like a army green color, a grass green, or a forest green. You got your feet. Very beautiful bag. And my wear on the corners, you may see some, because I have carried this bag a few times before. But either way, I love it whether it showed things or not. <laughs> so this is how it looks cinched all together. Most of the time, my bag was open. And when you open it, there you go. Let me see if this a glare. The inside, it does have that light color lining there. And there's your Dooney and Burke tag in the back. Okay, so now what's in the back? First off, in these pockets, there is a zip. Is that dark? I can't tell. Okay, so first off in this back pocket here, up under the logo plate, you do have a zip pocket in there. I had a, it's like a little miniature first aid pouch I got from Dollar Tree. And it comes already packed with the items in there. You get two little gauzes, alcohol pads, and some band-aids. So we have been going to the pool, I'm going to say every day it has not been raining. So I just keep this with me. And I put it back in the car and just to have just extra stuff just in case, you know, scratches and things because we go to the pool and then he goes to the playground. So after that, I just have this on me. But this came from the Dollar Tree and all the contents were in there and it was what, $1.25. Uh, and then, oh, y'all guess what's back? <laughs> the oatmeal is back. So I picked up a shift at work and... I had my oatmeal. I was going to fix it before I left. Didn't. So I fixed one when I got to work in the other pack. I just said, you know what? Let me stick it in my bag for emergencies again. <laughs> so if you've been following me for a while, then you already know about the oatmeal. And then here's just a silica packet. So that was all that was in that zip pocket. And the pocket is long enough to put this pack of oatmeal in there. It's not deep at all. Then we have... This is the Bath and Body Lavender, uh, what is it? Essential Oil Sleep Mist. It's lavender and vanilla. And you know, that's what I said I was going to use as my poopery in the bathroom. I picked up these, I think they were like $3 and some change at one of the sales they were having. Then this is my little mini composition notebook. I believe that was in a pack of three at the Dollar Tree as well. This here is the Hello Kitty mirror from Marshalls or TJ Maxx, I believe. And so they are quite bulky, but I said I need to use it to, you know, to rotate through my stuff. And so it's the little Hello Kitty mirror. 
If you know about those, then you already know because they have been on YouTube when they were popping up in stores. And that's all that was in that little pocket there. And then, you know me, you know I have a Nolita, just about in every bag. This was my medicine pouch and I chose it because it was similar to one of the shades of green in the bag. So why not? <laughs> uh truly was the medicine and uh medicine pouch, medicine and candy pouch so i have some mints in here and then y'all this is my little mini vaseline thing that i got from i believe target or walmart just a little miniature one and i keep it in here just so it doesn't you know when it gets hot in the car stuff starts to melt <laughs> Chapstick lip balm in pineapple coconut, medicine pouch, ibuprofen, my little mini comb is in there, some more life saving mints, and then my eye drops there, and another mint. So these little pouches, they hold enough, your little mini essentials, and this is of course from Coach. I believe this color was called Olive. But I chose it because, like I say, shades of green. So that paired nicely. Then, of course, Old Faithful is always in here. The checkbook. Here is my pen pouch from Coach, the Coach Outlet. This is the one that had the radio print. I chose the light color one, just playing off of the light interior inside the bag. I'm not saying they had to coordinate, but again, I have these accessories, so I'm using them. <laughs> and truly is a pen pouch. So I have all of those in there, just various random pens and different colors. So light color and green, just playing off of the colors in the bag. And again, it technically pairs with the outside colors as well. Then we move on to the wallet. The wallet. If you know me again, you know what this item is. <laughs> this is the Dooney and Burke Tech Top. Let me see. It has a long name. It's about 10 words. Dooney and Burke Tech Top Zip Wristlet, I believe they call it. But essentially, it's just a wristlet <laughs> or wallet on a string, if, it, if you want to say that. This is in the color grass. So it is in pebbled leather. You can see the texture there and that is showing true to color. There's your logo plate. And again, just chose it because a shade of green. I have a olive one, but I didn't want to use too much olives. And Dooney's olive is not the same as this one. So since we were doing camouflage on the bag, this has the brown trim around the zipper pull. So I had that to pair with it. And then the trim of the wristlet, of course, coordinates with the trim on the bag with the same whip stitching. So just various ways I was coordinating the bag. So we had that shade of green. And then I bought in this shade of green. Now these two separately, you would not think coordinated, but Again, I was doing my camouflage theme, so I just did shades of green. So that was in my thought process. <laughs> so this I always use as my wallet. It has credit card slots, slot for your cash. You get a front zipper pocket. You can put receipts in. So essentially, that's what that is. I did not turn my cards around, so there's no need for me to open and something may show for you all. <laughs> then... Still down at the bottom, I have my Bon Appetit. This is from the Target Dollar Spot. This is just the little, uh, like, what do you call them? Portable cylinder that you would have. So it comes with a spoon, knife, and fork in there. And they had different colors. I just grabbed the Pinky Mauve one. And so whenever I use these, if it's not in my work bag or my lunch bag, just come home, wash them off, stick them back in here. They're portable. That hard plastic, has, I've had this well over a year, no damage yet. So it just says Bon Appetit. So I just had that down at the bottom. Of course, 
for my oatmeal. <laughs> then we had a gum. It's almost empty. I was using my planner. It's in my work bag, but I had out these clips because I was um, making sections in my planner for some notes and stuff. And so I just had these big giant jumbo clips. These, I believe, came from maybe Hobby Lobby or Michaels a while ago. But they came in this little pouch here so I can just do it close. I think Target also carries them as well, but I'm not sure if they have these same colors. Then, moving on, Bath and Body semi-annual sale. I was spraying some scents. Empty candy wrapper. This is a bead bracelet that I had on one day. And so I took it off. It, I had on these colors. And so I just threw it down in there when I was done wearing it for the day. You do get the nylon key keeper. And hardly ever do I use that, but it's available in the bag for those that do use them. On the opposite side, you do get two slip pockets. As you can see, I have it stuffed. I have, pull this out because the tape's coming off. This is the Champagne Toast, the Travel Size Body Spray, the Travel Size Lotion, and Champagne Toast, deodorant. The tag for the bag, it just says uh, drawstring in the color green. Retailed at the time for $3.18. Have a receipt from Walmart. And some more uh, spray things that you know you get from Bath & Body if you want to test out the scent. Have a fingernail file that's about had it scratched up and everything. This is one of the glass ones. If you have one of those, they're phenomenal to have. Then over here, my Juvia's Place from Ulta. And my contact free wedding solution. And that's all I have. I think down at the bottom, some loose change got away from me. And a pin top. There was some pennies, but the bottom of the bag nothing left in there and like I say it has that light color interior you can see it there true to color I just had a pop of sunshine through so it has the light color interior and it's like a fabric lining but it says um, what is it the it says family all on the inside and so hopefully you can there you go so it literally says family all on the interior of the bag. And that is a perfect shot. So the white words that you see that says family. So again, this is that Robertson collection. Uh, the Duck Dynasty. Hence the ducks. <laughs> so this was an absolutely great bag. I'm so glad I have something from that collection. But like I say, if I was able to get one more piece, I totally would. My drawers, strings, or little, my tassels have one trying to fly away there. But it's a great bag. A definitely great bag. And mine, it has softened up. It's like a coated canvas, I guess we'll say. But mine has softened up because you can see when nothing's in it, it's definitely, <laughs> she ready to sit down like she tired. But it was a great bag. So you have to see the interior because we know most of the Dooney and Burke bags, you will not see this interior whatsoever. So that was my switch out Saturday for you all. I am definitely moving into a tote to have a bigger carry. So thank you all so much for watching and following along. And I will see you in my next one. Let me show you this one last time. Here we go. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next one.